Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Jess. If you're new, hi, I'm Jess. Um, today's an exciting video. I know I always say that, but I am actually pumped for this video because my collar isn't on properly or up properly. Um, but yeah, I am very excited because I'm doing a video on all Australian drugstore products. So makeup, <coughs> excuse me, makeup that is Australian only. Um, I feel like we're always lusting after the next next thing, um, the next Milani, the next you know L'Oreal kind of product, um, and we forget that we have really good brands here in Australia. And I kind of wanted to showcase them in a bit of a try on demo. Some are new, some are not. So yeah, let's do that, shall we? First off, I've already done my brows with the the Emco Beauty more brow mascara it's my favorite thing to do my brows with because they actually always come out decent when i use this australian brand um cruelty free the pros about australian brands is i believe that they all have to be cruelty free um because australia has brought out new laws regarding that so you know that's always good um they're generally affordable and good quality. I'm gonna prime with the Mud Skin Perfecting Primer. You can find this at all Woolworths. I've been using this primer a lot lately and I find that it's really good. It's a bit lotiony but also it goes a little bit tacky and makes my foundation last a bit more. Um, so yeah, this is I think about $8.50, $9 at Woolworths, but it's a really good come to the pump glass bottle and you get 30 ml of product. All right, so for foundation, I am trying the new BYS full coverage foundation with hyaluronic acid. It's meant to be nourishing and hydrating, beautiful packaging. I've been noticing that they've been doing a lot more complexion products lately, um, but I do really enjoy BYS as a brand. I'm in the shade of ivory. Um, it doesn't look as pale as the other one I tested out from them, which I'll put down below. That was their Glass Glow foundation. That's the consistency. It's quite thick. We like it thick around here. I'm using a BYS foundation brush. These brushes are really, really good. Even though it's not as pale as the other one, I still think it's gonna be a good match. And I've seen a couple of reviews on this already. one application um not full coverage yet i do have redness that you can see discoloration um acne not so much at the moment my skin is pretty good that way but i do like to cover up my redness I'm surprised that it's actually that pale because in the bottle it doesn't look that pale. But I like how it looks. I'm going to add some concealer, the BYS Full Coverage Concealer. I picked these up off of cosmeticcapital.com.au, one of my all time favorite sites to purchase makeup.
doesn't seem to be as pale as the foundation, but we'll make it work. That concealer works really well because it does add more warmth to the foundation itself. Um, really good coverage. It feels quite nice on the skin and I think I like it better than the Glass Glow foundation. I also love how it looks underneath the eyes. doesn't feel too dewy but it's, it feels hydrating on the skin. The brand I really like for powders is Ulta 3. I've been really loving this setting powder. This is another BYS brush. And there we're set. Now I'm going to bronze quick designer brands. And it's the Sunbeam palette, and it's meant to be a dupe for the Benefit Cosmetics Cheek palette. I don't know if you can quite tell by the layout. That's the brush. So yeah, really pretty palette. I got it on their website um, half off because they're doing a because this is from their Christmas range, so there's. Um, Christmas lines are half off. I'm going to take the bronzer, which is the lighter one. It's a really nice shade. Very pretty. Um, I'm going to add a little bit of contour, which is that darker one. Um, I believe it's meant to be like Hula and Hula Light, these two shades. So. That blends out really nicely, even though I thought I've put on way too much to begin with, but it does blend out nicely. Yeah, really pretty shades for that. I'm going to take the Coral Blush, which I believe is meant to be like the California Blush. Pretty colour. Very pretty um, blush and bronzer palette, that one. You all know I love me a good highlighter palette. This is one by um, Designer Brands again. Look at the pa packaging, look at it, look at it, look at it. It's so pretty. Um, and it's scented like sugar cookies. And oh my god, it smells like a bakery. But they do the best formulas for drugstore highlighter and it's the vivid glow illuminator palette i have three of these or four of these now um because i'm obsessed really really pretty what shade um i'm gonna go in with that middle one which is a really pretty rose gold They do some of the most blinding highlighters from the drugstore. I mean, look at that. Mm, so pretty. It just looks like a wet skin, like they just sink into the skin. Absolutely gorgeous highlighter. Try out the Chic She Mermaid palette. Really, really pretty blue palette. And 
I picked it up on sale probably a couple of weeks ago and I still haven't used it but and that's fine um but look at the shades so pretty so I'm gonna take minty shade this is also another BYS brush that has cat hair on it Really pretty minty shade. I'm going to take a That is a beautiful shade, blends out really well, not patchy, really pretty. Um, I'm going to go in with this shade in the crease. I feel like it's gone a little bit patchy. Like. All right, the other brush fixed it. Now for blending. A really pretty palette I'm gonna take some of this shade just on the inner and outer corner of my eyes and kind of deepen it up a little bit I really like this palette because the shades don't go muddy they're not patchy um, I had that one issue where it did go patchy, but I think it was more the brush than the palette. I think that's really brought the look together. Um, I'm not sure what I want to do on the lid. If I want to do a pop of this or a glitter. I might do this. Yep, so I'm going to use that shade. Put on the lid. And I'm going to blend out that. All right, that's looking pretty. Now for the under eye. Um, what shade? I might do a mixture of that one and that first mint color. Add a bit of concealer to fix that up. What did I do with your? I always go like too far down. <laughs> but for the inner corner, I'm actually going to take that shade because it looks really, really pretty. That's really pretty. And then for the brow bone, going in with that palette again. I really like blue and gold together. 
I'm gonna go in slightly with this champagne color on my brow bone. Pretty. For lips, I've got this older designer brand by DB Lipstick. It was last year, their collaboration that they did, um, but they have like a whole range of lipsticks. Cat hair on everything. I've actually forgotten to do mascara. I went straight for the lips and forgot to do mascara. Um, we need mascara, so we'll fix that up. Um, Emco Extend Lash Mascara. This is actually a decent mascara. So this is the finished look. I do hope you enjoy these types of videos. If you want to see more Australian brand products, do let me know in the comments below. What are your favorite brands? I love Ching Chi in particular, designer brands, Emco, I love. Um, I think this look turned out really pretty. But yeah, let me know in the comments below your favorite Australian brands, what you want to see more from. And I'll see you guys in another video soon. Bye.